What's up, Internet? Current1776 here, and I want to show you guys my camp set that I put together. Uh, camp sets can be very personalized, obviously. Um, a lot of different people a lot of, like a lot of different ways, a lot of different heat methods, um, sizes of pots, and things like that. And some people like really want to be extremely minimalistic. Some are kind of middle of the road. I kind of feel like I'm kind of in the middle of the road on that. Um, but I want to be able to have a good meal, have a cup of coffee, you know, boil some water or whatnot. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool little kit that I've put together. I've kind of put it together with uh, s some things from different kits that I've had. And uh, so this is more a, not necessarily a minimalistic, but middle of the road backpackers camp set. So before I get on with my camp set here, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and comment down below and be sure to hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when I post new videos. So here's my camp set here. Uh, it's not extremely small. Like I said, I'm not a minimalistic kind of guy, but I think it's, uh, it's well put together. Let me show it to you. All right, so my camp kit here. I'm gonna try to give you guys a close up of it here. And then maybe I'll demonstrate a little cook with you afterwards so basically i just got this little bag right here this actually came in battle box and there's a few things in here that came in battle box um it was a camp stove i want to say it was it was in the first 12 months of battle box so i've had that thing a while so i just got me a simple little overhand knot here just to keep things in check undo that and open this bad boy up so the first thing i got here is this is actually a uh a device to open up fish's mouth right works great for um if i have to hang one of my pots over a fire if i'm actually doing a fire and not using um an alcohol stove like i got in here a transient stove and i can use this to pick up my pots take the top off my pots things like that as well so good thing to have in the kit, lightweight. We'll set that aside for now. Take the bag out. Get this bottom here. All right, so here we go. This is actually, this outer part right here is actually a camp stove that came in battle box. And this is a piece that goes with it too. I just keep it underneath right here when it's in my pack. Um, this actually nests together a little better, but with this different pot that I put in here, um, this doesn't fit over this because of the handle for the pot so i just keep it on the bottom so i'm gonna just take that off for now everything nests in here we'll set that aside talk about that here a little bit later here i have some foil this works great for a windscreen especially when you're using uh, a transient stove alcohol stove um, things like that having a wind barrier is really good because if it's really windy, it kind of sucks using those. So I got this. This is just some aluminum foil that I have folded up to where I can put it around my uh, my stove and keep the wind from affecting my, my heat source. So that just wraps around my pot right here and I'm good to go. This pot is a six cup pot. It doesn't have any measurements on it. And I don't know if you guys can see this in the, uh, maybe right there you can see it. I actually measured out and scratched it so that I knew, you know, where my uh, one cup, two cup, three cup, four cup, and five cup, and then right at the brim here is six cups of water. So when I'm cooking a backpacker's pantry meal or something like that, and it needs two cups or whatever, I can uh, I can fill it up right. Kind of keeping my eye out for a pot similar to this that has that, but it's not that big a deal. Just put some scratches in it, and you're good to go. What I really like about this pot is this handle here it clips over and it helps keep the top on really good so you just squeeze it it flips over it's a really nice handle all right take the top off here what's interesting about this one too is um it's like a plastic top it's got a little plastic tab there so you, you don't have to worry about burning yourself pop the old top off First thing in my kit here, you can see I got a handkerchief. Where are you going? Stay right there. What's freaking wrong with you? All right, 
I got a handkerchief. This is good for uh, many things. You can use it as a pot holder, cup holder, anything like that, so you don't burn yourself. You can use it to clean your pots. You can use it to wipe your face off, clean your hands, yada, yada, yada. So keep a handkerchief in there. So next in my kit here, I have some more aluminum foil. This is just a square for me to sit my stove on if I'm cooking with the stove directly on the ground and not with the um, stove that this pot was nested in. Um, it helps keep uh, heat transfer from the ground. Um, if it's a really cold, cold ground or something like that, or you got it on a really cold surface, it can actually rob some of your heat that you're using to boil your water or cook your meals and stuff. So I keep this in here to sit my stove on if I'm cooking with the stove directly on the ground and it works really good. So piece of aluminum foil. Next in my kit here or inside the pot of my kit, I've got another pot here. We'll pull that out, set that to the side. We'll go over that. And here is my main pot right here. I keep two pots for a couple reasons. One, I can cook two things at the same time. Um, so if I want to use the transient stove and cook some coffee in this, I can. And I can cook this over uh, some wood in the other stove because you can also use that stove as a, uh, as a wood burning uh, stove as well. And I mean, it just fits in here. So why not, right? Third reason is I like to eat my backpacker pantry meals out of a pot if I can. If I have to eat out of a bag, I will, but I prefer to eat out of a pot. I just like it better. So I actually will boil my water and stuff for my backpacker pantry meals, uh, my trail meals, and then I'll pour the contents into the pot versus using the bag. This piece was with the, um, the stove that come in the battle box kit. I'll set that aside for now. I'll show you how that works here in a minute. All right, so in this pot here, this is the Pathfinder pot this also came in a battle box a while back and um, this is from Dave Canterbury's company really good little pot right here it's got a metal top it's got vents where you can pour through use it as a strainer it also has these slots right here and these holes so if I wanted to hang it over a fire I can take this bail that I was talking about earlier it can actually go in through the slots here and out the holes and I can hang it from a stick if need be. So we take the top off and I got more stuff in there. So in the inside here, I have a couple spoons here or sporks. Pretty cool, they just slide in and out like this and lock into place. I keep two just in case one breaks or if I'm cooking again with two different methods with the two different pots that I have. So I keep two of those and if you got a buddy in camp and he's hungry, he's got his own spoon. This salt and pepper shaker here, um, it actually has three reservoirs in it, so you can do three different, but I'm kind of a salt and pepper guy, that's only. So I got pepper on one side, and I got a lot of salt on the other. I like my salt, okay? Put salt on country ham. I'm weird, I know. I'm probably gonna have a heart attack after the video. But uh, salt and pepper makes things a lot nicer in camp. This here is some hardware cloth that I cut and I made this little cylinder here, if you want to call it that. Um, if I'm going to use my stove, my transient stove, which is in here on the ground, my alcohol stove on the ground, I'll put that aluminum foil down, put my stove down, get it lit. I can set this on top of the stove and then I've got a pot um, surface so I can set a pot on here and warm up water or whatever. So when I'm using both my pots, say I'm cooking coffee in this one, I'm cooking food in the other one, I'll use the transient stove with this, set it down, stove's in there, my pot sits right on top, and I can heat up my coffee. And then in this bag here, I keep my stove. And then this actually has writing in it. So in actuality, really, this is all I need. Really, all I really need is this, this, and this if I was wanting to be really ultra light. And then here's the, uh, the stove. What I really like about this, there's tons of alcohol stoves out there. Um, and I actually am going to build some of my own. I've been watching some videos that I think is pretty cool on how to build different types of uh, stoves. And to be quite honest with you, I really prefer to cook over 
you know, some wood. But you can't always do that. Some places you're not allowed to do that, and some places it's just quicker and easier to use an alcohol stove. They work great. Why not? Why not have one? So this stove right here came with this that came from BattleBox. You can actually uh, burn wood with this as well. So that's why I like bringing this along. So I can just use this, or I could just use my hardware cloth. But I'm doing both. I can do sticks with one and this with the hardware claw it's got an area right there that this fits in perfect it just sits right in there this piece here goes on the top like that and that's your surface to hold your pot so your pot can sit there my larger my larger pot can sit right there so i like taking this around with me it gives me options i like options if you don't know about this kind of alcohol stove here you got a simmering and a snuffer here so while your flame's going you can put this over top and it'll put your put your fire out or if you just want to simmer you can move this over so it opens this up set this on top while it's running and it'll bring the temperature down the intensity down of your flame and allow you to simmer after you get up to a good temperature or to a boil main reason i like this is you can store your alcohol in here and you don't have to carry another bottle i will carry another bottle just so that i can refill this if i end up doing a real long cook or if it's really really cold and windy out and i have trouble but uh i really like this because you can store your alcohol in it because it has that rubber seal in there and it seals down real tight on this. So you can fill this bad boy up. Um, really, all you need is probably an ounce to boil water. Um, so you can cook your backpacker pantry meals or what you got, your dehydrated meals. But um, this right here, I think, will hold two and a half to three, right? Maybe closer to three ounces, which is plenty. If you don't already have alcohol in there, you put you some alcohol in there. Break out your... Uh, your match or your lighter light it up put your hand over top you can feel heat coming out you really can't see the flame very well if at all during the daytime but it's there put your hand over top so you want to snuff it out just take your snuffer here be sure it's snuffed out put your hand over it make sure it's not hot let it cool, and you can put your top back on. All right, well, that's it. Uh, there's my little kit. So I actually have a meal right over there. I'm going to set it up and uh, take this stuff back out, show you how well it works, and uh, have a little meal, and then we'll close this thing out. All right, gang. Let's have a uh, a quick meal. So we're at camp. We want to eat some lunch real quick. We got us a uh, backpacker's pantry meal. We want to eat. So, just take your stuff out of your bag. Get you something to cook on. I'm not cooking on the ground so you guys can see it better. I'll bring you guys in a little closer once I get the stove going. Just so that you guys can, uh, can see that. But basically this is how I get things going. So I just uh, get my stuff laid out. Another nice thing about a handkerchief, I can lay it on the ground. I can put stuff on it if I don't want it to be in the dirt, but God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt, so I'm not really worried about that right now. So just get all my stuff out. I'm going to cook in my larger pot, and I'm going to cook with this stove here. So, just take my stuff out. Got my salt and pepper. Gotta have my salt and pepper. Set my alcohol stove there in the slot. Get my lighter. All right. Go ahead and get that going. 
So one of my favorite backpacker pantry meals is this chicken piccata right here. I really do enjoy that. So it says here, two cups of boiling water. All right. Eyeball it. It's about like two cups. Set her on there. Put the top on. Get ready for a boil. So my aluminum foil here, um, again, this is my windscreen. So it's not really that windy right now, but if it were, if I had a lot of wind coming in, you know, affecting my flame, I can take this, just set it around like so, and help keep the wind from affecting My alcohol stoves. We'll just sit there right there like that. Oh yeah, it's coming. Just a couple more minutes. This is a really cool way to get a quick meal when you're out on a trail. So, I mean, even if you're uh, if you got a base camp set up and you got plenty of food, like set it, having a setup like this right here for lunch or something like that when you're just out hiking i mean the stuff packs down pretty small you can go way more minimalistic than this and you can sit down and have yourself a hot lunch you know i think it's pretty freaking cool maybe if i quit taking the top off and looking in there it'll boil quicker i'm impatient i'm impatient sorry all right so we got ourselves a boil here take a look Oh yeah, good boil right there. So now it's time for the pantry, the backpacker's pantry, chicken piccata. So what I like to do is just before I snuff it out, some olive oil there. Be sure you take that out, don't eat that. All right, got our olive oil. I like to go ahead and dump that in. right after I snuff it out. All right, so we snuffed it out. Take my top, dump my food in. Be sure you get all the powder and everything in there real good. Here we go. Let me set this down. And then stir it up. Get a little stir going there. Stir it up real good. And we're gonna put the top back on it. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Also, sometimes I like to take my hank, set it over there, and then take my handle, flip it over. I don't know, I feel like it gives it a little more insulation. Still got eight minutes. Oh, come on! All right, it's been about 15 minutes. So I'll just take this stuff, move it aside for now. And I keep my olive oil there. Grab my pot. That's one reason why I like using the uh, handkerchief. Little handkerchief right here. Take the old top off. Hmm. That's some good looking vittles right there. Just give her a little stir here. Put the 
top down. A little stir. Mmm. Mmm. A little salt and pepper. Olive oil. Yeah, boy. Stir it up. See, this is why I like to eat out of my pot. It's just more better, right? I can tilt it like this right here. I can get me some like that right there. Eat it on up. And if it's not too hot, it's not too bad anymore. I can use my handkerchief right here and I can hold my pot like this and eat. That stuff right there. Is good. Very effective kit so you can have good food while you're on the trail, camping, whatever. Now all you gotta do is finish up your meal, clean up your pot, pack it all together, and you're ready to go on about your trip. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to, you know, put a kit together of your own. Maybe make a few different ones, try them out, take what you like about some, and and work it together until you get a complete kit that you really like. Um, and uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. Go out in the woods, do a little camping, have you some nice hot coffee, nice meal. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment down below on this video, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you on the next video. What?